Hello. Now we're here at NAMM, last day, and it's quiet, so I don't have to yell that much. We're here at Jackson, which is part of Fender, which is part of the guitar world. If you haven't heard of Fender, check them out. They make decent stuff. Um, but they bought Jackson a couple of years ago, uh, ago, which was, I think, founded by, was it Grover Jackson? No? Oscar the Grouch Jackson. Oscar the Grouch Jackson, yeah. Um, so, you know, Grover had a lot of really cool ideas. Now he's doing the Friedman guitars, which are kick-ass, but not in this price range necessarily. So, obviously Jackson is where you go for this kind of thing. You know, I had a Jackson <sighs> Pro something, slimy something, and for like a, a grand, holy crap, what a guitar. I love the neck on it. Um, so let's look at what they offer. Here we got the Dinky, obviously. Oh no, it's not. It's the Kelly and it's the Jeff Loomis signature. Jeff, I don't know who that is. Must be some guy with hair who makes videos. What? What? I don't know what. His name is right next to his name. Arc, Arc Arcanemy. Jeff, that guy with hair from Arcanemy. Okay. So weird that people don't get that I'm joking because they're gonna write, What you don't know who Jeff Loomis is? Dude, I was in a magazine one page removed from him. All I'm saying, you know? So, let's look at this. Oh, uh, it's got some weight to it because it's got a thick ass body. Whoa. We have Seema Duncan's Floyd that's a little bit undercarved, uh, sandblasted black, truss rod adjustment here. Even sandblasted up here with a big ass Jackson logo. Uh, it's got a battery, so we're gonna go with these are probably active Seema Duncans. And it clocks in at 1400 Street, which is pretty damn cool. So I put this here without trying to break it. And of course, I'm gonna say that's not the one he plays. That's the one he plays, because that one's 5200. I see Toro trying to sneak in my video because he hasn't been in enough videos on YouTube, you know, because. No. Say hi to my people. Hi, people. Haven't you been in enough videos on YouTube? You're trying to steal my show? No, I'm trying to look at this thing because I so want that one. Do you want this one or do you want this one? Well, I would like this one, but my bank account, I think, would like me to get this one. You don't know nice people that can help you out? No, I know nobody. You want to, want to take this off? Uh, actually, I, I tried them both and this is eerily similar. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know, who cares about that? The playability is freaking awesome. Same pickups. And it says Street 1400, so I mean, it's, they should hit that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's an awesome guitar. It's just very black. Yes, but the important thing is you should know that, you know, when you wear all black and you wear a black guitar, there's always this problem, you know, where does the guitar end and where does your clothes start? The little white thing around uh, there, is, that's the trick. It wouldn't be the thing for me to rock, but apparently, you know... I, you, rock one. I play a Kelly. You, you do? Yeah. I had a, I can't remember what it's called, something with a green slime. Great guitar uh, they sent to me a couple of years ago. It was like a thousand bucks and the, the bang for the buck you got from Jackson. I was very surprised. They're super cool. The Jacksons and the Chavels, they're awesome. Yep. Well, get out of here. I'll do <laughs> he could be in my videos all day long, but I mean, he's got stuff to do. He's an important person. Um, now we've got this band, Volume Beat. I don't know. Um, and, uh, oh, 4,000 bucks, come on. Let's, let's look at the 4,000 bucks. Oh, it, oh, God, Cheddar, come in here. That's got some weight to it. <laughs> back, my back. Oh, my back. Yeah, it's, it's pretty solid. It feels like maybe eight pounds, something like that. I literally have no idea. But, oh my God, the purple is insane. I'm a, I'm a purple guy. And, and, and then with a the silver bob and that's cool. This is a, it's a, it's a signature guitar, but isn't this a very strange position for a pickup switch? I've never seen this. Yeah, me either. It seems like I might hit it with my pinky while I'm playing, but he must have a specific playing style where he's not going to hit that. This is the cool thing about signature guitars. Like we can bitch about it all day long. If that guy wants that, that's what that guy, his name is, that Vorby guy. Oh, uh, Rob Kagiano. Aren't they from Sweden? That's not a Swedish name. Yeah, it's not Swedish at all. Maybe his mom was from Italy. Ah, possible. Um, super nicely rounded fret edges. We're talking about 4,000 bucks, okay? I mean, if, they, if it doesn't have that, then something's wrong, right? Yeah, right. It better be perfect for that much money. Um, 
Oh, look, it has uh, the uh, strap locks where it's like the hole in the guitar, which is very nice. Can you, can you show this to Harry? Yeah, yeah. Show the side dots. Why, why am I giving you the mic? I don't know. Maybe I wanted to say something about the side dots that are facing away from me right now and I can't see them. Cool side dots. What does it look like in the back? Is this a bolt-on or a, a, a set neck? It's a bolt-on. They shaved a little bit away. Not enough to make a ukulele like that other guitar, though. Um, right here. Not, oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how that makes it more playable. Literally, I have no clue. A uh, little bit of subtle belly calf. This looks like it's aluminum or aluminium. Yeah, it does. It does seem like it could be metal. Sports lockings. Uh, but look at this. 4000 bucks, and it's got a scarf joint. Well, they did that because um, maybe it gets cold in the winter around its neck, and then this way it has a scarf, so then it will be warm. Which makes total sense. So here's the cheaper version. You put this one away. Which is lighter. Clocks in at, oh, $9.99. This is affordable. Uh, of course we don't have, but I mean, why of course? Why not put a veneer on it? Yeah, they could put a veneer on it, but I guess they want to differentiate them more. No, that's interesting. Uh, no uh, truss rod adjustment here. We have it up here. The other one's like that too. The other one has it up there too. Still locking tunes, but turning around. No spurtles, but these are Jackson. So it's rebranded. Um, but all the carvings are the same. No, this is a different carve. This is deeper. This is plastic. Yep. And this has a scarf joint as well. So clearly. Come on, $9.99 for a fan of the band. That's the way to go. Moving on over there. Put this away. Here we have cream, cream, and more cream. It's freaking very, very cream. I mean, I would never, ever, this wouldn't be my thing. I mean, just the, the shape of the guitar is just weird. <laughs> it's just not, it's a set neck right there. Uh, locking tuners, I, I like that a lot. Um, no non-staggered tuners, uh, big ass block inlays, big white binding on this cream monstrosity. Hold this. I mean, no, you don't play jazz on that, right? Uh, I, I don't think so. This is a purely rip the panties of the audience off with whatever you're playing guitar. This is this is, is that a style? Yeah, that's a style. It's what Steel Panther plays. Oh, okay. And um, there's different versions here. Oh, this one is $9.99, then, then the next one is $4,300. Okay, ah, it's also, ah, it's the Gus G signature, obviously. We're still with the signatures here. And then there's a very, very, very bright, bright, bright orange. That's probably Misha Mansour. This is Friedman, Marty Friedman. And we've got Misha Mansour, which I really like his uh, signature guitars. Of course, we don't have to go seven and eight string, which I don't even see an eight string here. We got seven. The headstocks on these are ridiculously large. That's really is the only thing that's turning me off. The largidity of the headstock. Because I mean, compared to the body, that's a big, big, big headstock. Right? Yeah, that's a big headstock. I love the color on this. I love the shaping. I love the uh, fixed, probably hip shot, hip shot bridge, the recessed. Uh, knobs, five position switch, two humbuckers, um, big ass spoke wheel, 24 frets, roasted maple neck. I love the shaping on the guitar, which is kind of like a, a little bit of a bevel. Um, but then really, really, really big calf here. It's a beautiful instrument. Uh, scarf joint up there, but the headstock, not because of the shape, but because of the pure size of it. It's, it, it's, it seems to be a little bit off to the actual instrument. Um, that orange, though, I would rock that. That's nice. Then you got it in a, in a uh, really, really cool, well, $3,600 exotic -y kind of wood with, um, they look maybe like bare knuckles, but oh, in, in, in a very flamey. Next, there are bare knuckles, it says. The Cheddar Man, uh, but it's got weight, it's got more weight. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how long I want to play that on stage. Uh, but beautiful, uh, really cool. So the question is, what would you go for here? Who knows? Uh, we have M M M ah, Mick Thompson. That's that guy with the mask. Um, didn't he have an Ibanez? No, he's, he's got a Jackson. The probably blackouts from Seymour Duncan, active, I would assume. Yes, and uh, he's got them in white and black. 
I mean, come on, all the colors you want. And then um, we're not going to look at the pointy ones because these gentlemen want to look at the pointy ones. I'm going to let these gentlemen look at the pointy ones. Go for the pointy ones. Go. And we're uh, still at Jackson. Um, we just looked at all the signature models. Now we're going to look at, you know, the more affordable stuff and the standard lines. So we're looking at uh, sandblasted guitars, which is pretty kind of cool. Many companies are doing this now. Some companies knock it out of the park, and I think the Jacksons look freaking insane. Way cool. They have the bigger headstocks, but okay. Then we have pointy ones in the back, and they go for under a thousand bucks. The the this uh, very very ADZ kind of finish on this one is wouldn't be my thing. I know Robert Baker would rock this. Love the flame on this thing. This clock's in at a thousand bucks. These are all very uh, easy to recommend. The soloist. That's what I was looking for. I had a soloist. The the uh, neck. They have unpainted necks, but they're set necks. So look at this, how it goes from one to the other. Beautifully done on those soloists. They're really guitars that are easily recommended. Um, they have a very unique feel of playing them. Look at this puppy here with kind of a beautiful, uh, yeah, um, uh, pur pur not purple, red to orange. Same thing on the neck. It's beautifully done and something you don't see a lot in a guitar under a thousand bucks. Now the white with a quilt, you almost never see white with um, with grain because it's very tough to do. It's subtle, they didn't really get it out all the way, but I love it. I love that they, you know, at least tried. Same transition there, beautiful guitar, clocking in it again, under a thousand bucks. Very cool. So, there's more around the corner here. And we're going back into the 80s with the ultra pink maple. You know, who wants to leave the 80s if you got something like this? Then we got the green awesomeness with even more green matching headstock again, sandblasted. And then if you really want to go in the 80s, just white. It's just, that's what guitars were like back then. Wiggle stick, white, all good. Or pink, why not? Back there we have Jackson's uh, variation of the fan fret, way too many string guitar. Uh, but they do this. Ooh, look at the swirl. What? A swirl for $749? How is that possible? With the Floyd Rose special. Ah, oh, the whole neck is swirled too, dude. Dude. Dude, where's my neck? It's right here. Holy hell. Swirled neck. I've never seen a swirled neck. That's awesome. I would assume on the white swirl, yes, the neck is also swirled. Way cool. Um, I'm, I'm not into like this kind of stuff. Like, you know, the black and the gold and the... It's just not my thing. And I'm happy that it's, you know, if it's your thing. This is something that pretty much Robert Baker has, but he's got a Kramer. This looks exactly like Robert's guitar. But he says, Kramer, not Jackson. Why do I sound like a reporter? Because probably I'm very, very tired and this is the only way I can keep talking. Um, cool, three humbucker, bladey things. This is definitely a very original guitar with a very strange uh, pickguard. But still it has a Floyd. I don't understand these things, but some of you might. And, you know, if you do the heavy stuff, why not? It's a very, very thick body with almost no calf. A very sharp edge all around. And it's the X-Series Warrior. Like 599. I mean, come on. Black binding, maple, black shark tooth inlays. 599. Can't really go wrong with that. Okay, then we have bases, 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 bases. We're going to skip those. Because... And here's, you know, the Baby Jackson. Okay, look how cute the Baby Jackson is. Come on. Okay. Um, uh, back to me. And also the animals at the end. I've sold my soul I feel quite happy all in all I didn't fly, I couldn't fall But my 
Father, have I sold my soul?